Uh, what's going on guys? Finally we're out of lockdown. I know a lot of you guys are getting takeaways and shit. I know I'm going to be tonight. And uh, yeah, it's awesome that we're finally going down to level 3. It's going to be so good once we go to level 2. But um, now I can actually get a few parts and a few bits and pieces that I've been needing to get but couldn't because we're at level 4 for uh, the Sylvia and even the Severo. But uh, today I am going to be doing something that I've put off for uh, so long now, which is just giving the thing like a really good clean and then I want to put all the interior back together. So I put a lot of the interior, like a lot of the center console and stuff out when I did the motor swap just to get everything out of the way. But yeah, now I'm going to be putting all that stuff back in and giving it a, a real good clean. You can see just how filthy this thing is. This thing hasn't had a wash in a long time. Real gross. See if we come in here, it's not all the center console and stuff is missing, so I want to put all of this back in. And then a while ago, I went and did a little Mexico mission before lockdown, and it was on a rural, dusty industrial road down in Mexico. And yeah, the dust went all throughout the inside of the car. If you look at the dash here, it's just disgusting. So I want to go through and clean all of this shit up as well. And overall, just make the car so much more tidier than it is. I'm going to start off giving the car a wash with some of this stuff. It's good. It gives it a nice wax finish as well. And then on the inside, clean the interior with this multi-purpose cleaner. And then go over it with this uh, protectant here. So keep the interior looking nice for a while. I found a dream that I can speak to. I found a dream. looking real good dried it afterwards with the chamois shimmy however you say it but yeah it's nice and nice and clean now this honestly is like the first time i've properly given this car a wash ever made sure i did the wheels really well because um i got some finer sandpaper the other day um so i'm gonna go through and do all four wheels today with the finer sandpaper even the two that didn't have um that weird stuff on it i found out that it was like a protective film like film coating that they put on from the factory that it just goes bad sometimes so i'm gonna do it on the other two wheels with the finer sandpaper as well and get all four of these wheels looking really good but i'll probably do that after i finish the interior this car is definitely not perfect by any means one of the biggest flaws of this car is this rear guard uh the owner before me had forgotten to do up the wheel nuts when they went to do a skid and the wheel came off and you can see it sort of like damaged the guard here it's crinkled a bit and then this has um been affected too you can see the pretty big gap through here and it's even sort of pushed this bumper out a bit when it went like that see a few marks up up on here as well and then if we come around to this side under the driver's mirror starting to rust a bit through here which is quite a common problem on this ones so i really do want to get this thing painted one day get it making get it real tidy and make it look real good. Uh, now I'm gonna clean this interior because it is so disgusting. So I've got these uh, Armor All Protectant Wipes and multi-purpose cleaner, so I'm just gonna spray the dash. And uh, yeah, give it a little wipe. Right, so I've gone through, wiped all the dash, and even wiped the door cards and stuff, and all around the dash surround. This has turned up so good. This was honestly disgusting, like, look at that. So I still need to go through, do the protectant, but it's come up so good. Just gonna use some of this Armour All protectant stuff. Just gonna spray it onto a cloth and then go over everything. Now that everything's nice and clean, it's when you wanna do it. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this stuff turns out pretty good. There's a pro common problem that you can see with like S13s and Sapiros and Laurels and stuff like that is that these dashes are quite prone to cracking if they dry out a lot in the sun. So this stuff is definitely good to help prevent that. And just like that, the interior is nice and complete. 
So chuck the center console back in and the gear shifts around. Now, as you can tell, this is not meant for a Sephora. So these are out of a Skyline and yeah, obviously they've been made to, they've been cut to fit. I would love to be able to get a manual Sephora like surround and center console in here one day, but for now, I think this works good. I've always not liked this shifter. The shifter just came with the gearbox because it was like real tall and looks like a complete monstrosity but with all of the uh shifts around and stuff and now i think it doesn't actually look too bad it still looks a little bit ridiculous but could probably live with it well i decided to go a little extra and i wiped down the entire engine bay i forgot to film of what it looked like before but when i went to mexico and between the uh kaikoura trips as well this whole thing was just absolutely disgusting there's so much dirt and grime everywhere so Tied it up heaps. All right, so this fair is finally all clean, top to toe. Been putting it off for so long. No reason other than I just haven't been bothered, been too lazy. But probably not gonna do the wheels today because it looks like it's about to rain, which sucks because I just fucking washed the thing. But yeah, I don't wanna get halfway through doing the wheels and have to stop because it started raining. So I'll just wait to do it another day. And as for this hunk of shit, should be bringing some more content with the Sylvia soon, hopefully. Decided what I'm doing with the body kit wise. I've decided I'm just gonna have the same kit that came with the car Just tidy it up a little bit Got um, about to start prepping this thing to paint it gonna go over everything and The back here I'm gonna get some bog and hopefully try and tidy it up a little bit Originally I was gonna get some like origin lab over fenders and put them on which would have covered it all but unfortunately they ran out of over fenders, uh, I think a couple weeks ago when I was actually still planning on buying a full Origin Lab kit. Um, and they're not too sure when they're gonna be back in and I don't really wanna wait. I wanna get this car painted and looking good so I can then start putting everything back together. The motor that's in this thing, the RB20 that used to be in that needs a rebuild. So if you remember a while ago, we did a compression test before we actually pulled it out of the Sephora and it was like 120 PSI across the back four cylinders which is still usable but it's down on power quite a lot so I'm gonna rebuild that new rings bottom and bearings and yeah just do a real cheap hard and fast build on it but yeah this thing is gonna look so good painted I can't wait got a color in mind that I want to do um, but I don't know let me know in the comments below what color you guys would like to see it and then once it's painted while I'm rebuilding the engine um, I'll probably get the car to go to Robbie at JB Fab where he's going to do a bunch of work for me he's going to cut my knuckles uh, extend my lower control arms and he's going to shift my steering rack forward because these cars at full lock especially when you have bigger angle um, the steering binds when they get past a certain point so move the steering rack forward just to um, eliminate that you can use offset rack spaces but they come loose quite a lot so it's just nice and easy especially while the motor's out to just shift the rack forward i also need to sort the fuel system out for this thing um, i'm going to be running a surge tank and i'm going to be running two fuel pumps one lift pump to feed the surge tank and then one going from the surge tank to the motor just to eliminate any fuel starvation or anything when going around corners sideways but yeah um there isn't a hell of a lot left to do on the sylvia it's really just sort of doing the work I've been saving a little bit of money these past few months, so got a bit of money to throw at it, so that's gonna be good. But uh, yeah, hopefully still have some content with the Sephora over the next few months, but mainly you guys will be seeing the Sylvia, which is good, cause yeah, I can't wait to drive this thing and just start getting that seat time. But uh, anyway, that'll be it for this one. Definitely not the most exciting video out, but I still wanted to get something out. Uh, the video the other day that I did with my mum is doing so good. So thank God, thank you guys for watching and liking the video and all that. Share it around. It would be awesome if that video just goes like crazy and helps the channel to grow a lot. But yeah, anyway, cheers for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.